In this video, we look at a new AI addition to Filmora 12, and this is the AI image. What this means is that we now have the option to input some text and an AI image is going to be generated for us in Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is really awesome and I'll show you. When you're in the media tab right here, there is a new tab right here. It's called the AI image. Click on that and what you see when you hover, it gives you this particular indication. Start your creativity with AI image. So obviously, once we click on this, it's going to bring out the dashboard of what uh, we're supposed to do with this. And we just give it a couple of seconds to populate all the necessary information that we need from the new dialog box. So here we go. Once the AI image interface is loaded, then you'll see a couple of options. Describe the image you want to generate and this is what you get. Description is better with no less than 10 words, including picture content, composition, color, detail, description, etc. For example, a lake in winter. So that's a quick example they've given you, but they've also mentioned that the description is better with no less than 10 words. Now, next up, we have the option to select the resolution, 256 by 256, 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024. You'll notice that it's giving out square images. Next up, the number of images left to create are about five. By default, the number of images, or at the time of recording this video, the number of images that you can create using the AI image tool in Filmora 12 is five. So let's say we want a photo of a forest in the future. Uh, we can say something like that. And then let's say we want this size and then let's click on start creating. So this is where the image is going to be generated. Let's click on start creating, working on generating your exclusive image. Let's see if it's going to give us a photo of a forest in the future. So something futuristic, but let's see what results you're going to get. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure it's futuristic, but it still looks okay. And if you'd like to use it, just click on download and it's going to download AI image and it's going to be available here for you to use. You can just drag it onto your timeline and you can see uh, that it's available. We can also try it again and see what other images it can do for us uh, based on that. And then uh, depending on your creativity, you can actually get it or depending on the prompt you give it, uh, let's say uh, coloring of uh, New York City. Let's say we want that. Start creating. Let's see. Now we've given it uh, like uh, a colored photo of New York City. Let's see what we get. It's creatively. That is what we get. It's a photo coloring, and this is the way uh, New York kind of looks. Uh, although it's not the best kind of photo or image you'd like to see but it has its applications. And I do believe that the AI being used right inside uh, Filmora 12 is going to get better with time and hopefully give us better images and results. Let's click on download as well. It's downloading AI image and here's our image. And that is what it looks like. It's a photo or a coloring of New York City. So that is the AI image tool in Filmora 12 that you can use to automatically convert text to images. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.